Hello there, youngster. You interest just 50 cr... Glad to see you're interested in the grand... Good luck. I hope the game's as... No, of course, of course. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy relieving you of your credits almost as much as I'm going to enjoy humiliating you. <laughs> But luck is no substitute for skill in Pazak. If you are full, if you ever wish to test yourself. Welcome to the equipment M because
Welcome because Offworlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Selka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a Rat Ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Please, don't say that! If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? It will just take me a moment while I examine your injuries, and then I'll administer the proper treatment. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supply? Of course. Just step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. for employees only. You, you recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless... Unless you're a friend of the Republic. I, uh... I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. 
And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Psst, you there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rakul serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rakul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Hm, I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me, or some off-world stranger? Now be smart about this. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the lower city bounty office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy him some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? <laughs> No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same!
Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. You mean, you're not here to kill me? But uh, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zax in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits, I'm a dead man. Thank you. You've saved my life. At least until one of Davik's bounty hunters finds me. Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? The planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? Well, if it's an interrogation you wanted, why don't you say so? No, I was just joking. Though, you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people, and, and for what? On the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway, it got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. You were the only one. Not to mention that Basilisk's party was the one who requested your transfer. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. But hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I can tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, but whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. It has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone. And I have my reasons.
reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? Good. Like I said before, I prefer action to talk anyway. I wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing. Come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. supposed to be here this ain't your home don't don't hurt my family look just take what you want and get out to tell Davik's bounty hunters where I'm hiding, are you? I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You've saved my life. Oh, I'd better go give this to Davik right away. Coming to, huh? <gasps> Shlami's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lars Seju belong, Shlami? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. A drink? Hey! For hey! Shlami, you ain't so bad. Come on, boys, this Shlami's buying the next round. <laughs> no way, forget it. No more drinks. 
We're well, laying off as it is. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, Slummy. Come on, fellas, let's go. Kachin out with team member Rang Thong. Muli ra on shag. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kim ba muli ra duana. Thong kim ba no kunok neck. Kava numpa kum pialiar monokata. Ranga kun bis kim no moruat. Kakin chan na guana brokon. You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. <laughs> I guess stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. Kenchopa chawi ti chok twis yun kun watu yama kama wona henak nek bugra shak kun ti chi wa um chawa tong abu china pala mule tong ki ba non randi i chao Friends and fellow humans, I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. The Wookies and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them! Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action. We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you... Come on, we should keep moving, Cook. The evil walks among us. The enemy is here. Ladies and gentlemen, G 
draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She is cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You and in the other corner, a Welcome to the equip because of the Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. 
We have a very special presentation. He's a legend in the sport. A 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids. But there's always some young gun coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got one of the best right here. Yeah. Judges got to your cackle, boy. Uh -huh. 